moment now. Hey, there we go. Hey, we're live. We so uh, I'm Charlie. This is Alex. Hi, Alex. How you doing? I'm doing good, Charlie. Awesome. How are you? Awesome. I'm doing fantastic. You know, 2022 is off to a uh, smashing success for a lot of things. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm super bullish on the way things are going. And, you know, I always like to get to chat with other folks, especially, you know, some folks that have been fairly successful and doing some nice things and have a few things to say that got, you know, you look good, by the way. Uh, so, you know, for what it's worth, uh, full transparency, you know, uh, Alex, you went through the Facebook ads MBA program, uh, or maybe six months ago or something like that. And things yeah. did fairly well for you since then. And I hear great things from inside the community, by the way, apparently you're hiring a couple of folks, giving some people some work. And I, I love, I love yeah. that, man. That's what it's all about, man. That community is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I, I honestly, if we would have, if we were, if we were chatting right after the program, I would have been like, the biggest value of the course is definitely the course itself and the one on ones. And then that gets you so far when like you're a solo, right? Like, yeah, I'm managing all these clients like independently. And then I hit like another issue, right? Which is like scale, efficiency, bandwidth. And it's like, all right, I want to keep providing value. I want to keep helping out these other businesses, but. There's only so many hours in the day and there's only so many hands and there's only so many calls you can do in a week and stuff like that. So rather than working myself to exhaustion, I was like, look, there's an amazing community of fellow students that have graduated, have gone through the curriculum, connected with Tom. And thank you for, for, for coaching, training Tom. Like it's, it's yeah. awesome. Um, we have a great working relationship and I, I look forward to like our relationship, like going even further additional opportunities that may arise from it. But yeah, I mean, wow, where is it to be? I, I think since we last spoke, I already, I broke the 30 K MRR and then I lost a massive client, which is always like, it's a scary thing, right? Like, oh man, like nine, nine in recurring revenue out the window because of partnership disputes. And it's just like, damn, what am I going to do? Like, uh, it's like, ah, stay the course. People will come knock. Yeah. Don't worry about it. And now, yeah, back up to it, it was like a 30, 30 to 40 to 45 day like dip in MRR, but secure the next client, already delivered in the incremental value to them within the first month. And now go. it's like, all right, now I got pipeline. Now it's just like, how do I onboard it from the pipeline? How do I make sure that there's structures, procedures, and everything just in place that everything can be smooth? And now it's just, instead of rowing the ship, maybe a little bit more like on a sail ship now on the top of the mask, just making sure everything's is, is working good, making sure everyone is being treated fair and equitably and compensated correctly for their time. Um, so it's been a, it's been quite a start to the year, man. Super excited. Um, and everyone was, you know, super worried about Q4, like, Oh, December is going to be crazy on Facebook. Like some of my clients like had their best months in December and yeah, I was actually like speaking with some people and like most people always say like December is a hard month. December is always a hard month, like even outside of e-com, right? Like taking like a service mm -hmm. provider, let's say like a video production company, right? Like December slow because like our prospects are in holiday mode. They're looking to spend money in other areas. So they're not going to allocate it. Right. And like just keeping up with the mindset stuff that comes on in the course too. I was like, no, like that's a terrible mindset. Like, like this. December is going to be a phenomenal month. We're going to launch Golden Bear. We're going to get into some DCT. It's going to be a great month. Like we're kicking things off right. We're going to end the year on the right foot. Lo and behold, December is their best month of the year, right? Like just bananas. Like have another biotech medical food company. CPA in November, 90. CPA in December, 55. AOV in November, 60. AOV in December, 95. Cost to acquire a new customer, 56, meaning that most of the customers are brand new in December. And it's just like, you can position any month to be the, the best month if you want it to be just with a mindset. Of course, there's seasonality, right? Let's not, let's not get super bullish here that you could hope and everything is going to go perfect. There's realities of life, but just coming into that every day with the expectation of like, we're just going to make this week better than last week, this month better than last month. It's such a simple thing to follow, right? Like just, just make everything better than it was the day before, the week before, and we'll be in a good place. Yeah, 
I love it, man. And first off, Mazel tov for flipping that thing on somebody and just making it the best ever. Because that's all that we need to be doing, right? Is is that directional change and making things happen, and you know that mindset stuff. I mean, in the NBA program, you start off with that mindset stuff, right? And it's really like, yeah. all right, let's reprogram your brain to like we're going to be successful, right? And, and you know, some people think it's like a bit of a woo woo thing or whatever, but like. It's fundamental. Like if you go in expecting things to be hard, don't be surprised when it's tough. If you yeah. go in knowing you're going to crush it and you have the systems and the process and the direct support in the back end to make it work, it's going to be hard to fail. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and I love what you said about that stuff. Cause you know, I think that's, that's such a big piece. And you know, uh, you know, in 2022, I see so many people, worried about the future of Facebook ads and the future of e-commerce and future D to C. And they're like, well, you know, pixels and tracking and all of this stuff. And it's like, it doesn't really matter. Like you can still be successful. Like I try to tell people attribution, the idea of your pixel and credit was a tool designed by digital marketing platforms to take credit for work. So that ad agencies would give them more money to feed their profitability motive. Ultimately, ad agencies told clients this was a a valuable thing so that they could get more money, so they could grow their business objectives. But none of that means anything. You know, there's an old Yiddish saying, you know, where it begins, so it will end. And 50 years ago, businesses were wildly successful with a good ad and a good business model. And there was no such thing as a pixel or attribution. You know, Ogilvy, making ads for people. I I, I quote this all the time, but there's a Volkswagen Beetle ad and it says zero to 60. Yes, Volkswagen Beetle. You know what, I want one, got it, done, simple. Right? And there's beautiful like Porsche ads and, and car ads. There's all this stuff. And I mean, we grew up with the with the Coca-Cola ad of like the, the polar bears, right? And just like, yeah. oh, give me. I just I want it. I think I see the same M&M's ad every Christmas, right? Where they're catching Santa. Like, yeah. it works. And, and the reason it works isn't because of ABO. It's not because of some interest group targeting. It's not because of delayed attribution. It's yeah. because ultimately a business figured out their model. They figured out the ad, they understood how to respect their customer, and they leaned into what worked because they got they got sophisticated enough to really be able to understand the impact of business efforts. And in the MBA program, yeah. like what we were talking about that you've been leveraging here, which I love, is we talk about why attribution is BS and how to measure stuff across your ecosystem, which I think is yeah. game changing. And I love that. You know, you, you have one of my favorite quotes. It's just like, I just showed everybody my system, like my documentation, and, and I just started landing clients. It's funny, Kelvin in the program also like literally can't get people to say no because he just shows them the documentation. It's just like, well, I'm going to put you through this. 